So season two guys, season two of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the stuff has already been leaked online. And I saw some of the good stuff and I saw some of the content coming up and it looks more impressive than season one. You know, season one over there was lacking in maps and uh, also the weapon, I mean, there's only one weapon, the Ram 7. And also the crossbow, but I mean, come on, man. Some of these guns were not game changers. So I saw the new content. I saw some of the leaked content. There's two new guns coming up. There's also a new map, a new old school map that everybody loved back in Modern Warfare 2. And also an operator that pretty much going to make this game be more exciting to see. So uh, anyways, let's talk about the weapons that are coming up. The new weapons that are coming up for the game are called the Growl 5.56 and the Striker 45. Now the one that I keep my eye on is the Striker 45 because it looks like the UMP. It has a resemblance about it. So uh, I thought the MP5 looked more like the UMP but like this gun over here, the Striker 45, looks like the UMP. So it is an SMG by the way, as according to the description. While the Growl 5.56 reminds me of the SGG. So it's quite fun seeing these kinds of things you know two new weapons for sure these are going to be game changers i'm hoping they are because also the smg division most of the smgs are weak as hell the bison the aug the uzi i mean the uzi has a more accuracy compared to any other smg out there but it's not as strong as the mp5 and the mp7 those are my two most dominating smgs right now on the game so seeing the striker 45 i'm hoping it could be a little bit more competition in the game and i'm hoping it could change the whole division of the smgs because right now the smgs do need a little bit more damage on on their weapons because they feel too weak as hell especially with the bison i spent like more than 15 bullets just to kill someone it's insane so uh the growl 5.56 i'm hoping is more of a game changer too compared to the ram 7. the ram 7 does a little bit of damage it's good in accuracy but not as good as the kilo 141 or the m41 in damage so it's still very under you know undermined like it's, it's gonna be like under it's under the radar pretty much it doesn't it doesn't impress anyone with a ram 7 but it's still there you know it's still the, my one of my top assault rifles in the game because it's a little bit accurate so the growl 5.56 i'm hoping it could change that i'm hoping it can be one of the top assault rifles out there to use it looks like the commando or slash sgg you know i don't know how to describe this weapon but it's gonna be a good assault rifle pretty sure of it so anyways the next thing i would like to talk about will be the new operator for the game of course ghost coming back from the dead I'm sorry about the spoilers there, but it's true. <laughs> uh, but yeah, new operator coming back, you know, for sure most of you guys would love him. But I gotta say this, people gotta let this guy go, man. I mean, come on, man, he passed away already in the game, or in the franchise. But it's a, it's a reboot, I'm guessing, and I'm guessing he has to come back. So, um, anyways, you know, Ghost is coming back. So what do you guys think about this new operator? Hopefully the skins are the badass on him. So uh, anyways, the next thing I'll be talking about will be the map. So the Rust map is coming back rust out of all freaking maps they brought this one back so it's because when i played call of duty modern warfare 2 on the prime time you know when it was like one of the top games to play rust was one of the most annoying maps i ever played in my life that one in shipment but shipment you know i can already play it right now but rust coming I mean, at least it's a lot better than shipment to be honest because you have more elbow room to run around you know nobody's gonna kill you in your spawn well actually it has a little bit of spawn problems but with a new spawn system, instead of being killed on spawn like 100% of the time, you'll be killed on spawn at least like 80% of the time now. <laughs> uh, if they freaking fix the spawns, bro, because goddamn, this game doesn't have good spawns. And, and any freaking maps, even on Ground War 2. So, uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping uh, there's a Rust 24-7 coming up because I'd rather play that than Shipman. Because, you know, Shipman over there, you, you usually die 20 times no matter what. Kill confirmed domination headquarters, you know, everything. You die more than 20 times, no matter. You can't survive that map. Everybody does. So now in freaking Rust 24-7, I'm hoping to survive a little bit more. I'll probably do better in that map compared to the freaking shipment map. So I can't wait for the Rust 24-7. So uh, anyways, that is it, guys. I want to talk about today the three things, pretty much three major things. Tomorrow, I'll be talking about the battle pass and see what content is coming up. Hopefully new skins and new uh, cosmetics. Uh, so, uh, if you guys want to see more best class setups, make sure you subscribe for more. I still need to do the Ram 7, which I already have ready. Also, the M4A1 Marksman. It's already good to go. I'll be uploading all those stuff through the Season 2, so you guys can dominate in the beginning of Season 2. So, I don't want you guys to get dominated. I want you guys to dominate out there and act like pros, you know. I want you guys to call in killstreaks like me. So, anyways, that is it. 
subscribe for more if you guys want to see more Call of Duty Modern Warfare streams and other stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys later.